happy with this little guy. They're so cute. So I have 50 of these little star jumper bears um, that arrived today. As I mentioned in my last studio vlog, there were some issues with it. Originally, they made his little eyebrows pink instead of brown, um, but they've remade me them for me and I love them so much. Um, so one of the things I'm definitely gonna do today is spend a while going through these, making sure they're all okay, and then packaging them up, ready for my market and to put on my online store. Um, I'm hoping to do a store update maybe by the end of this week or the beginning of next because I have quite a few Christmas things that I wanna get out as soon as possible. And I also, there is one thing I still wanna make which is a Christmas mug. So I have a couple of ideas what I'm gonna do for that. Um, but you know, I need to sit down and actually do them, um, which I'm hoping to do this week. So I haven't probably said hello and welcome to the studio vlog yet. So hi, welcome to this week's vlog. I've kind of forgotten. I've just been so excited over opening these. So I think all I'm gonna do now is sit down and just spend the morning packaging them up. punching all my pins into my little backing cards. I have no issues with them, they've all been great, um, except for one which had a bent post, but other than that, they've all been perfect, and I'm super happy with them, um, and I'm excited to take photos of them and put them up on my shop. Still gotta put them in the cellophane bags, but I'm gonna take a little break now and come back to that later. But for now, I wanna show you a few things. So Chalk Ola have sent me this huge box of 32 colors of acrylic paint. So they want me to make a video with these, which will be coming in the next week or two. Um, I'm super excited to try these out. Um, they've given me stuff before, but you know, I'm so happy when they send me stuff. Like it's amazing that companies want to send things to me because I'm such a small little YouTuber. Um, so I really appreciate it when I get to try out some new paints. Plus at the moment, it's so hard to get hold of paint, um, especially acrylic paint, because it's cheaper to buy it in Hobbycraft rather than online. Um, so this is definitely gonna come in useful now we have just gone into lockdown again in England and then the next thing that's quite big ugh, but it's this giant box here which I got from Ben Q so it's a reading light um, and it's meant to have like different light settings and it's supposed to be really good for drawing so they sent that to me and thought I could give my little review on it and see um, how I work with it when making my art. So I'm gonna set that up now. I'll probably have a bit of a go with it today but I am probably will save it for tomorrow because I wanna get these pins done. But I wanna get it set up now so I can have a little bit of break from packaging pins. Um, and I've had it for a few days now and I haven't yet had the chance to open it. So um, I think now's the perfect time to do so. This is so much heavier than I thought it'd be. It's really not what I was expecting and I can't believe that I was sent such a good sturdy light for free. Um, and I'm excited to see what it looks like set up. I just wanna say um, I wasn't paid to review this. Um, they just sent it to me with asking me to review it, but like they didn't pay, give me any money or anything. So I'm giving all my own opinions on the light. Um, but thank you so much, Ben Q, for sending it to me.
have now finished setting up this light. Um, I've had a bit of a play with it to see how it works and everything, and it's so, so good. It's really, really strong, and it gives off so much light. And there's different settings, so you can set the temperature, you can have a kind of a cool light, or a warmer light. Um, I think personally I'd probably use the cooler light more because that's really good for filming videos in and taking photos, but you can also kind of adjust how bright the light is as well. Um, and I think it looks really cool as well, it's very modern looking and you can kind of bend it quite easily as well, so you can kind of adjust the position of it, you just move this here and you can move the head up and down too, it's kind of hard to do one handed but you get the idea. It's dark outside now so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep on the light in the room and turn off the studio lights so you can see this to its full effect. So I've only got the one light on in this room right now, you can totally see how bad the lighting in here is, it's not really ideal. Um, so. As you can see that, like, look how bright that is. That's so good, and it's just so easy just to turn it around and adjust the brightness. And then you click on it once, and you can adjust the temperature, so that's making it cooler. It's probably a little bit too cool for the camera, to be honest. So that's probably around right, but then you can make it really warm as well. And then you click on it again and you can adjust how bright it goes. You can make it a bit dimmer there. I can't believe I was given this for free and I will link down where you can get your own one if you want to get your own. Um, and tomorrow I might do a little bit of testing with doing some drawing or something with it um, to see what it's like. But yeah, I'm so happy that I've got this. This is such a good little light and I'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of it. And then you just turn it off by hitting it there. And now it's off. I'm going to start putting all my pins in the cellophane bags so they're finished and I've got all the packaging out of the way just because I might as well do it now um, and I feel like just putting on a movie and getting it done so yeah I'm going to do that now. canvases to make a video with next week using these paints that Chocola gave me uh, but they need priming and I just thought I might as well do it now to get it out of the way so I don't have to do it um, later on in the weekend wait for them to dry so I might as well get it out of the way now I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to paint on them yet but they're really nice interesting canvases and at the moment I haven't got anything else to paint on because the shops are shut so I have to kind of make do with what I've got so, yeah, this is what I'm going to be painting on. Now, I managed to finish painting these canvases. They're all primed with, uh, I used Liquitex Professional Clear Gesso to prime them. Um, these are pretty cheap canvases. I think I've probably picked them up for like four quid each from Hobbycraft. So they definitely needed some of this to make them easier to paint on. Um, but you know, I'm gonna leave them to dry. I probably won't paint on them for another week, but uh, at least they're ready now for me when I want to use them so I can just get on with making my video. Yeah, so I haven't really got anything else to say so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, so as I said yesterday, today I'm going to be working on some mug designs. So these are the mugs I'm going to be designing for um, and then I'll be printing on them. So as you can see, 
it's got a red inside and a red handle which is very Christmassy and I really like these mugs I think they're gonna look great um, and are perfect for a Christmas market um, but I do need to be careful with what I draw on them so what I've decided to do is actually only use one colour which is going to be a red um, and I'm going to try and get it as close as I possibly can to this red colour. So what I want to do is basically have just the one colour and I'm going to draw like a Christmassy scene and then there will be like different bits that I will colour in completely red and other bits I won't so it's all going to be mostly an outline illustration. Um, it will make more sense when you see what I'm going to do. I'm kind of nervous because it's a lot of space I'm going to have to fill but um, I think it will look super good if I do manage to pull it off. Also, this morning, I've also had a little something arrive. This, oh, my phone's just dropped. Um, I wasn't really expecting to get these today and I'm actually still waiting for some more, but there's some little ceramic Christmas ornaments that I can sublimate on and I think these are gonna look so cute. They're a lot bigger than I thought they would be, but honestly, that's a good thing because like the bigger the space, the more I have to more room I have to print on things um, and I'm super excited to see how these turn out. Unfortunately I did get an email yesterday about my Christmas market. It is still happening at the moment but um, which is good but it is possible that it will be cancelled if our lockdown is extended because our lockdown here ends I think on the 3rd of December and the market's on the 5th of December so it's a very very high possibility that if they increase it by a week or something that the market will be cancelled um it might be moved online but i personally prefer the markets in person i make way more sales i'm a lot more successful there and they're a lot more fun as well so it's a bit of a shame that there is the chance that i miss out on it but um i'm still gonna act like i'm going to it and still get everything ready because i always end up in such a rush before these markets so i'm trying to get everything done a month before so i just have to pack some bags and not really think about it um but it's kind of unfortunate that this is happening um so if you guys want to buy some Christmas decorations and Christmas mugs, obviously everything I make will also be put on my online shop, which is linked down below if you want to go and check it out, because it means so much if you get something from there, because it really does help me support my YouTube and my Instagram and all the content I create for you guys, um, so it would mean a lot if you pick something up from there. I also want to design another face mask, it's pretty plain basic one, it's not anything super difficult for me to do, um, but I kind of want an, um, a different option for my Christmas masks. Obviously I have the face mask I made last week with the reversible Santa and reindeer design, um, but I want to make another one, um, it's still kind of Christmassy but you could wear it at other times too, um, but it kind of is festive but you can wear it with nicer clothes so I want to design a face mask that you could wear on a night out or something that's a little bit Christmassy. But yeah, I'm gonna go and get started with these mugs. So this is the finished sketch. Um, so as you can see here, this is kind of what I'm doing for the background. It's going to be a solid red background, except there will be like little stars and circles and stuff in this. I haven't finished it because, you know, it's just a sketch. You, uh, I'm just going to do it in the final piece. There's no point in doing it for this because it's going to take me forever, but you get the idea. And then you've got this little bear who is going to be, you know, like the one on the enamel pin. Got a little penguin um, as well, and they're just throwing snowballs at each other, and then the background's going to have like snowflakes falling down around them. Kind of simple, but um, I really like it and I think it's going to look great on the mug, especially with kind of how I'm going to draw it and the style it will be in.
floor took me so much longer than I thought it would to do. Um, in the end, for the floor, I just ended up duplicating the layers and kind of layering it over and resizing it and twisting it and stuff and trying to make it fit. So I wasn't, I didn't draw all those individual stars on the ground myself. Um, but it still took a while, but I'm really happy with how it looks and I think it's gonna look great on mugs. Um, but before I go and print them on the mugs, I think what I'm gonna do first is probably design the face mask I wanna do just because I'm gonna use my heat press. I might as well do everything in one go. Um, the ornaments I don't think I'll have time to do today but I'll do them tomorrow or at least I'll start designing them today maybe and then I will print them tomorrow um, but tomorrow I want to take all the photos of all my new products um, and get them up on my shop um, as soon as possible probably probably on mon Monday I think so when this video when you're watching this video hopefully everything is now up on my shop um, so that is the plan for tomorrow um, so I have got a lot to do, <laughs> um, but uh, I'm excited to release all my new products to you guys. So yeah, I guess first of all, time to print them up. When the devil visits in me and Jesus fight over endless conversations, I never sleep on. Okay, so as you can see, it's not perfect and there's actually ghosting on this side, um, but I definitely think it's a lot better than all my other attempts. So I'm gonna give it one more go today um, and see if I can make it a lot more better than this. Um, and then I guess I'll try again tomorrow. Okay, fingers crossed it worked this time. Okay, I'm really not sure why. I don't know if you can see, but ghosting has happened again on the penguin's face and it's all faded at the bottom. Again, I have no idea what I'm doing wrong, so I'm going to come back and do this tomorrow because I'm going to have a look into it. It's quite late right now, so I'm going to have a look at it this evening, see what I'm doing wrong, um, and try and print a good mug tomorrow. And here is the finished mask. I really like how that has come out. So I'm calling it a night for now, but I think I figured out what's wrong with the mug. Fingers crossed, but I'm gonna do it tomorrow because um, I just wanna call it a day and, and get back to it tomorrow and not kind of like rush the printing of the mug so I ruin it again. Um, hopefully this time it will work okay. I'm not actually sure how many red mugs I've got left though. I think I might only have one or two. So I'm gonna have to place another order of mugs, which definitely means I will not have them ready for Monday. Um, but I do like how they are coming out, just they're not quite perfect yet. Um, but I'm happy with the illustration and everything. Um, but I do have to get a little bit better with printing them. Um, I'm kind of frustrated that I've ruined so many mugs trying to figure this out, but um, you know, Hopefully I'll be able to sell some and make my money back. So I also want to start sublimating on these hearts too, but I also need to come up with the designs for them. Time for attempt number two. So apparently you're supposed to put your mugs in cold water after they sublimate. I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't see it on the instructions or anything that I've got. Um, but a lot of people said to do that online, so I've got this to put the mug in immediately after I've finished printing it. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but it's worth giving it a go. It worked! I'm so happy with this. Oh my god, this is amazing. I, I'm so annoyed it's taken me so many tries to get this right. But I think it's a really nice mug and I love how the designs have come out. So on this side you've got a little polar bear, 
And on this side you've got the little penguin. So I'm definitely gonna have to put in another order for these red mugs. I hope they will sell well. I'm kind of risking wasting money if um, the market doesn't happen because I think these will definitely sell better in person than online. Um, but I am gonna put them on my online shop too um, if anyone wants to grab one. So for the rest of today I want to design and print on my little ornaments. Um, and I also want to try my best to get the photos taken of all my products. I'm a little bit worried about doing that with the lighting and I might have to do that tomorrow. Um, but I did want to edit this video tomorrow so it'd be up for Monday. So I've kind of got to be really quick and get everything done as I quick as I can without obviously rushing everything and making everything look rubbish. drawing the first uh, bauble illustration but I'm actually not gonna print it and do the second one now what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna take photos of all the new products first and then I'll take photos of these products tomorrow first thing tomorrow and um, the reason for that is because the lights going you might be able to see it's starting to get a little bit darker now it's about four o'clock so I think it starts been pretty much dark outside around five o'clock so I need to take these photos quickly before the sun sets um, and I just need to get them done as quick as possible and um, I want to edit this video too so I think this is the best way to do it um, and then I'll print and draw the next illustration once I've taken the photos. To be honest I probably should have taken the photos first thing this morning but I didn't really think that much about it like I thought um, I would have time to get everything done but you know, with the sun setting, yeah, I haven't got as much as I thought I would. It's kind of annoying um, winter times in England, like it gets so much harder to take photos and you really have to time it correctly um, to get good lit photos. But you know, it's just one of those unfortunate things. Yeah, I've left it way too late. I started taking some photos, but the light's just not that good. I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't do it sooner, but uh, I mean, I can edit the ones I've already got once I finish making these uh, Christmas ornaments. Um, and then I guess I'll have to take the rest tomorrow morning before I edit this video. my little finished robin. I'm a little bit nervous about printing on them because they're I've never printed on a material like this before. It says I have to leave them on for 180 seconds which is very long um, so we will see how they turn out and um, I hope I manage to do a good job. Kill, we know, kill, people, and I will, if you will. 
So I think I'm just going to put the one in as a tester for now to see how it comes out before I do the other ones. So I'm doing the little Robin one first. So I don't know if you can tell, but the heart has been ever so slightly bent. Um, which is kind of annoying, but I guess this means I had the heat on way too high. Um, but actually I'm gonna stop for the night and then try again tomorrow in the morning so I can figure out and be less stressed about getting it correct. So this morning I've managed to get the print to come out really well. The only thing I have to say is I think on both sides I need to make the print a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna go and do that now um, and reprint it. But I am actually going to end this video here um, because I do need to get on with editing it and I kind of just want to get on with my work. Um, but once I finish this, I'm going to take some photos of the products as well. Um, and I'll just insert a little clip of how the uh, Christmas decorations came out here so you can see what they look like. But yeah, so everything is hopefully now on my online store, um, all my Christmas bits and bobs. Um, I've still got a few things to make and still add to it over the next few weeks or so, um, but this is the big majority update of everything. Um, but I'll update you guys when something new gets added over on my Instagram, my Facebook, my Twitter. Everything is linked down below if you want to go and check out my other social media accounts. Uh, and obviously my shop is down there too. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a massive thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be the first to be notified for when I next upload. But thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Hey, why you always want tomorrow without today?